guys. I'm so excited to be on here today. I need, I need some makeup therapy. I have had a rough last few days and I need to do some makeup with you guys. So going in like I always do with my primer. Okay. It's the B of X Pro Gray Tube Primer. If you're hopping on, say hi. Thank you for watching. I don't know what that is, but that really hurts. Obviously, we need to cover these suckers up today. So, this primer is a silicone based primer, so it fills in all your pores really well. Um, this one is supposed to be more mattifying than the other purple tube, but I haven't tried the other one, so I can't really speak to that much. But we're gonna start off with brows. I'll show you guys how you can do your eyebrows if you like to do them before your foundation. So I will show you how I do that. I don't do it often, but to me it's just a little bit easier to do your brows after your foundation so you don't have to clean them up as much. But if you're not in good practice with your brows and you have to, if you feel like you have to clean them up anyway, you might as well do them before your foundation. So if you're hopping on, say hi. Thank you guys for watching. Happy. Friday, it's Friday, right? Hey, Tiara. Hey, hey, hey. I think you, did you text me? I think you texted me and I'll text you back in a minute um, when I get off here. But I'm really excited and I'll probably send that email for you to make sure about your order too. If you guys are hopping on, say hey. Tap my nose. There's three dots in the corner. You can follow me if you want to be notified when I go live. If not, that's okay too. Um, I'm just happy to be on here with you guys today. I have the day off. I can talk to you guys about makeup. I need makeup therapy, something awful because I've had, I've had a rough week. It's not been good. So I'm gonna go in from these terrible dark spots I always talk to you guys about. I'm gonna give my primer a minute to sit and then I'm gonna put this concealer on because I'm having a rough, it, you can tell I've had a really rough, stressful week when my acne gets this bad. Hey girl, happy Friday, thanks. You're welcome. You are so welcome. Okay, so let me take a little like fluffy brush, I don't even care which one, and put some powder on my brows because I put some good moisturizer. <gasps> Amy! Hey, Cheyenne, how are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? Okay, I'm just gonna take a little bit of setting powder. Also, I broke the, uh, broke the rules a little bit and my pressed powder that <laughs> was broken when I got it, I just, crushed it all up today and made it loose so because why not um I'm just going in and kind of putting some powder on my brows first because I put some really awesome moisture pharmacy moisturizer on today and it can like really um what am I trying to say affect how your brows look when you're trying to put your brows on if it's like really slick do you also have a skincare routine I do Amy I I have a skincare routine um I just got some pharmacy products that I'm trying out and hoping that it will help with my acne. Hoping. Hey, Cheyenne. Thanks for watching. Okay, so let's do our brows and I'll show you guys how you can clean them up. Um, make it easier for you to put foundation on afterwards. I can't even talk today. I can't even talk. Look how my week has went. Okay, I'm going to use the Lip Liner 227 that I always tell you guys I like to use because it's thinner, I think, than the brow pencils. Um, and actually I got to thinking about it and I'm going to look and see what kind of brown eyeliners that we have. And I'm going to try to use those as brow pencils because I have a really good feeling that those are a lot thinner and they might work really good. So I'll have to try it out and let you guys know. I just like, like, see how this is kind of thick. Um, I didn't sharpen it very well, so that doesn't help either. But these brow pencils, you can sharpen them, but they're a little more waxy and they're thicker. Um, I feel like it kind of makes it harder, especially when you want such like a clean, um, precise brow like I do. It makes it harder. If you're just kind of filling it in a little bit and you don't really like to do your brows too much and you want them to be more natural, I would just do the brow pencil because I feel like they work really well for that. They have a lot of color and um, if you're not trying to be as precise as me it works really well see I got too much moisturizer on and my brow pencil is slipping and sliding when you put that powder on it just kind of soaks up all that and makes it so much easier to run your pencil across your face it's not as slick so I also like 
if you want brows like that are dark, like I like them. This brow, or this, it's a lip liner, 227, and then the brow liner, 203. Oh, I keep thinking there's a two in front of it. Brow liner 03, those are the darker ones, and I like that. I just happened upon this lip liner. It came in one of the starter kits I ordered. And I was like, is this brown? This might work for my brows. And so here we are. And I like it a lot. I have to say I like it better than the actual brow pencil. Like I said, it's personal preference. It's how you do it too. So a lot of people like the brow pencils. I just, but how do I sharpen it? Oh, I'm not sure how to, sh oh, just, I think we sell pencil sharpeners. I'm not sure. I'd have to look. I think we sell pencil sharpeners. If not, you just like go to Walmart and get a little pencil sharpener and it sharpens. It's, it's like a colored pencil. Same, I mean, same idea. Pencil, colored pencil. I don't know why I picked colored pencil versus pencil. They both sharpen. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can sharpen it with a sharpener you can get from anywhere. Drugstore, Walmart, Target, doesn't matter. I think we sell one, I would assume. I honestly haven't looked for one, but I'm sure we do. Hey, Mindy, thanks for watching. Happy Friday. Yesterday was like my Friday, and so I kept thinking that today was Saturday, and it's not Saturday. Do you guys wanna see which matte liquid lip we're gonna put on today? Cause that is the thing like I'm most stoked about. So, are you ready to see this beautiful color? I got it in the mail two days ago, a few days ago. And I was like, I cannot wait to do a video so I can show them this color because I'm really excited to see how it looks with my skin tone and just see how it looks in general. But look at that. Isn't that so pretty? You guys are really hating on my red lipstick today. <laughs> I posted that poll in my story because I was like curious how many people like red lip. Um, like one person. Like nobody likes the red lip. I was like, dang, you guys hated that red lip. I loved it. But... I guess I'm the only one, so just me, myself, and I. Hey, Gabby. Happy Friday. Okay, I'm going in with the brow pomade in the shade brown. Okay, not dark enough for me, personally. So I will be getting the darker one at, the, at some point. Um, but I honestly don't want to waste this one. I might as well use it because I have it. So it does help to go in with like a darker pencil like I just did um, if I want them to be darker. This does a good job, honestly, probably it matches my hair like the most natural, but I just like my brows to be a little bit darker. So if you guys like powder, we have brow powder. Um, we have cream, which is the pomade. We have br whatever brow mascara is. I'm just saying that sounds scary. <laughs> that sounds really scary. Brow mascara. Mm. I don't know. I need to buy it and just see what the heck it's all about, though. That way I can give you guys my true opinion, because I, I don't know. Maybe I need to, like, YouTube it. I'm sure somebody used it on YouTube or something somewhere where I can just see it, because it kind of freaks me out <laughs> to think about a brow mascara. I don't know. I have one way I do my brows, and I don't want to change it up, because I personally like how I do them. So brow mascara sounds scary. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Bailey. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Let me know if you guys have any questions. If you're hopping on, feel free to say hi. Um, and you can tap my nose and there's three dots up at the top if you want to follow me to be notified when I go live. And like I've been telling you guys, there's a link in my bio that has my YouTube um, link in it. And I post all these to my YouTube so that if you guys miss them, you don't have to scroll all the way back through my freaking Facebook wall and or feed to rewatch because I don't know why Facebook doesn't save them. So. Okay. So all I did was fill them in with the pomade and the pencil like I always do. Nothing's different about that. I'm sure you guys have seen that like a gazillion, bajillion times. So now I'm just gonna go in with my pure, is this pure beige, pure beige concealer and I'm just gonna clean them up. But basically why I like to do it, and let me get a small little 
Where is it at? I just cleaned it. I cleaned all my brushes the other day, you guys. Look at this. My bronzer brush. Back to pure white. Can you believe it? My kabuki brush. That was like dirty as I'll get out. Clean. Okay. I used our tea tree soap. Like we have a bar of soap and it was magical. And my brushes feel so freaking soft. Like they like, well, this one's basically brand new. So I can't use that as an example, but this one I've had forever and I've always used it for my bronzer and it feels so soft. Like it's brand new out of the package. I was like, Oh, tea tree is amazing for so many different reasons and you can use it for so many different things. So I'm really hoping that it helps. Well, number one, keeping your brushes clean is really important anyway. Hi, Danielle. Okay. what I say? Pure beige concealer. And I've got my little tiny flat brush here. And I'm just going to go in and clean it up. And why I like to do this, another reason, not necessarily because I don't really feel like my brows need cleaned up, honestly, because I've had so much practice with it. Um, but... It helps me when I go in to put my foundation to like not have to get as close to my brows, you know, because I'll already have some coverage here and some color here. So I won't have to take the brush or sponge or whatever I'm using as close to my brow and potentially mess it up. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. That's why I like to do it. So I'm just trying to have a steady hand as much as I can. Make a clean line here, and then we're just gonna blend it out. Blend it down and out. Cause I just don't want to risk getting foundation on my brow and having to start over, okay? So I feel like this is, I feel like this is a harder way to do it. If you have practice doing your brows and you do a good job and you feel like you don't really have to clean them up, I would just do them after your foundation. Um, but if you have to, if you feel like you have to clean them up anyway when you do them, regardless if you do them before or after your foundation, it doesn't really matter for you then because you're still cleaning them up. So I've just done mine so much. I feel like I don't really ever have to go in and clean them up with concealer, but okay. And this is just a flat little brush um, that I use to do it. And it's just a pure beige concealer, liquid concealer that we have. The only thing I find tricky is trying to get the concealer not to cause the front part of my brow to look boxy and unnatural. You know, because I, I always tell you guys I try to keep that looking as natural as I can with all my natural hairs right there and see how that kind of makes it stand out but I just try to like blend it in as much as I can because it really bothers me and honestly I might just wipe it with my finger a little bit that's the only thing I struggle with when it comes to cleaning my brows up before my foundation Hey guys, if you're hopping on, say hey. Um, I can't always see your names when you get on. I don't know why. Somebody tell me why Facebook does that to me. I don't understand. Is it because people I'm not friends with are hopping on? I'm making that assumption, but I have no idea. Okay. And this just takes longer. I'm just saying, if you practice enough and you feel like you don't have to clean up your brows, that's good because cleaning them like this and doing, cutting them with concealer just takes longer. Like they would have already been done two minutes ago if I didn't have to do this. But I wanted to show you guys how you can if you want to. Plus a lot of people feel like it just like makes their brows look more flawless. I don't know. I just don't ever do it. I'm leaving the live because I want to watch from the beginning and it won't let me right now. I just wanted you to know. Oh, thanks. Okay. Thank you for telling me. Yeah, if you guys like miss the beginning and want to go back and watch or whatever, then just you can go back and watch it later. I don't mind. 
And if you miss it, you can't find it on your feed, just go to my um, profile and just click that link tree link and it'll take you to my YouTube. And then you can watch them all on there without having to try to figure out where it is on my Facebook feed. Because I think that's super annoying. That there's not, like there's a photos, you know, there's like a photos folder, but there's not like a videos, like a live. If I go live on here, why doesn't it say that? Or maybe it does, and I just am not very well versed in Facebook to know where it saves it. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So this, you don't really have to blend this out too much up here. Um, just because I'm about to cover it with foundation. My poor neighbors, my dogs harass the crap out of them. I, my hair is a hot mess today too. Do you hear them barking? They will not leave my neighbors alone. Like, it doesn't matter. They've seen them a hundred million times. They still bark at them. I feel bad. They're probably like, good lord, who are these people that moved in next door? Okay. So that's how you clean up your brows. But see how I like brought it out all the way up here. So if I don't get like super close to my brow with my foundation, it's not going to be as big of a deal. I can blend it in and not come right up against my brow and potentially like screw it all up. So we're going to go in with a soft orange. Um, did I say that color right? Yeah soft orange liquid concealer um, from mostly for my dark circles um, peaches and soft orange like this help with dark circles so like under your eye if you have dark circles um, I just for some reason have these dark spots on my cheeks you guys know if you've watched me I talk about it all the time I've had them for like as long as I can remember it drives me nuts so I'm gonna try something I'm gonna blend if I can get all my little hairs out of the way I'm going to blend this with my finger today. I don't know. I've just seen so many people blend products out with their fingers instead of sponges or brushes. So we're going to go for it today. But it just kind of like, I don't know if you guys can tell on this camera how it like neutralizes my skin tone and hides the fact that I have a dark spot there because of the warmth in the peach. Look at this, y'all, this pimple is driving me insane. What even is that? Hold on, what the heck? Okay. I think it's from where I tried to put something on, on that blemish right there. Hold on, people. Oh, my poor skin. Look at this. <laughs> Y'all, I'm on the struggle bus today. I think it's where I tried to put some skincare on there and it just like doesn't want to come off. Okay, I think I made it better. I don't know. We're going to pray for the best. <laughs> We're going to pray for the best. This is why I do this for you guys because... My skin sucks. So we get true, true um, makeup results here <laughs> because I got blemishes like nobody's business. Okay. The only thing I don't like about blending with my fingers is how messy it is on my fingers and for my nails that have like white tips. My nails are looking rough. I mean, y'all, I just want you to take a look. People keep telling me to just take them off, but I don't want to. I pay good money for my nails, people. Actually, it's not that. It's not that pricey. It is not. If it was, I wouldn't do it. I'm not that dedicated to it, but I want nice nails. And with my job, I just can't have nice nails, like with regular polish, you know, because it won't stay on. I'm going to try to cover some of my blemishes a little bit. Okay, and this time I'm gonna go back with this like cream brush I have that I love so much. And we're gonna blend it with this instead because I want to. And I just want you guys to know that I ordered a Kabuki foundation brush on Amazon. 
that is like nine bucks that I have been, it's been recommended to me a lot. And so I am let you guys know what I think. Sorry, I got a phone call. Um, just blending this out. Hopefully help me cover as much as I can because it has flared up this week with my stress, I think is what did it. My face, it's the stress and it's the mask, okay? <laughs> because 12 plus hours, like basically over 13 hours of wearing a freaking mask does not do my skin good at all. And the stress, <laughs> a lot of stress. Okay, we're gonna use BFX because this is like the most full coverage foundation Plus, I wanted, I really wanted to use the Stay Matte, but I'm kind of worried that it's really too light for me at this point because it was already a little light when I got it, and I have got darker since then. Hi, Maddie. Thanks for watching. So, we're just going to use the VFX because I know this is dark enough for me. Um, yeah. So, I need to order a new Stay Matte because I really think that I've already surpassed that shade because it was like, I got color matched with basically like my winter skin tone and now I've been outside so much I've just ruined it the kabuki brush this one didn't like super duper impress me with this foundation like my other brush did or the beauty sponge but I was like maybe it's because it needed clean because this one gets abused so much by me I use it all the time Hi, Amy. Happy Friday. Thank you for watching me. Um, so, anyway, was I saying this one gets abused so much, I need to clean it. And so I did. And now I just think it's doing a much better job. I have neglected my brushes. And I've decided since I got the tea tree soap and it did fan-freaking-tastic cleaning. Like, look at this. Y'all have seen my new bronzer brush it was like all brown on the end obviously because i use it for bronzer okay and it is back to pure white exactly how it looked when i got it and it's so soft all my brushes are so soft like they're brand new i was like amazed so if you want a good brush cleaner that's so cheap just get that bar of soap it's so easy you just i i can make a i'll do a video and show you guys if you want me to do a video cleaning my brushes with that soap let me know and I will do one because it is so easy, so easy. This Kabuki brush is doing so much better now that it's clean. At least clean your brushes like, guys, at least do once a week. I have been neglecting mine so bad and I shouldn't have been doing that, but I have. And now that they are clean, they are doing so much better. <laughs> Got a little hair, probably a dog hair. The struggle is real. The struggle is real this week, you guys. Tell me what you guys are doing. Are you stuck at home? Are you working? Ask me questions. I love getting questions. It doesn't even matter about what. Could be makeup, could be life, could be whatever. Hi, Maddie. Hi, thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, happy Friday. Hi, Hannah. I hope you guys are all doing well. Cleaning, oh, Amy. Mm. That's what I need to be doing. <laughs> That's what I need to be doing so bad. I worked the last three days, so. The house has been neglected. Pretty bad. And I need to, I need to do some dishes or something. Okay, would love to see a cleaning video. Yes, I will do one then, Cheyenne. I will, maybe I'll go, I don't know if I'll go live tonight. I will try, let me see. I think I work, I think I work on Monday. So I've decided I'm gonna try to clean my brushes before I work like two days or three days in a row because it takes for these bigger brushes, honestly, because I don't have anything to like hang dry them with. It takes a, like a good couple of days for them to totally just like air dry. You could probably honestly use a blow dryer and just blow them dry, but 
Um, I'll do one like maybe Sunday night or something because I'll probably be cleaning my brushes then. Maddie going hiking today. Oh, I wish I was going hiking today. That would be really fun. We, John and I need to do that. The dogs love going hiking. We need to go to Brown County or something. I missed a spot. Ha ha ha. That's so funny. Hi, Emily. Thank you for watching. If you guys are hopping on and I can't, I don't know if I can see all of your names. So you can say hi. That way I know you're here. I need this blemish to quit. It's like covered up, but I'm not going to lie to you guys. I like picked that earlier because it was making me so mad. Don't do that. Don't do that because it makes it so much worse. So now it's like my skin is so irritated right here. And I tried to do some extra skincare today <laughs> to help it. But I'm on the struggle bus with it. I have far from perfect skin. Oh, I have, wasn't even showing you guys. Like, see how when I go to do my foundation, like, I don't even get that close to my brows. But it's covered and I don't risk, you know, screwing up my brows that I already did. You see what I mean? By, like, using the concealer to, like, not only clean up, but it helps keep you from screwing up your eyebrows. So, that's why I wanted to show you guys that today. I don't do that often just because it. I feel like it takes longer and so I don't. I don't do it like that. But if you struggle with it anyway and you're learning to do your brows and you need to clean them up, it's just, and you're going to clean them up anyway, then it's easier for you. Okay, so this is the VFX Pro. It is so beautiful. It is full coverage. I love it. I can't decide which one's my favorite. I've been neglecting my stay matte because I feel like it doesn't match me as well. And so I need to order a new shade so I can keep showing it to you guys because it's just going to look funny with how light it is on my face, okay, compared to my neck. So let's go and let's do some eyeshadow, but I'm gonna take, where is it? I'm gonna take this brush, what's even going on with this thing, hold on. I'm gonna take this brush, okay, and some of my setting powder, and I'm gonna go under my eye here like this, okay, and make a straight line. So I'm gonna try to do this to prevent any craziness. That way, if I go to blend this way with my eyeshadow, I can brush it off later. So we're gonna attempt to do this before. Usually I like do all my eyeshadow and then I go back and do this, but we're gonna try it backwards today and see how it does. So this is supposed to be a pressed powder, <laughs> but if you guys missed it earlier, I talked about how I just like got mad because it was all broken up anyway from being beat around by the, <laughs> I guess the mailman, I don't know. And so I just crushed it all up today and made it loose. So here we are. Okay, I don't even know what eyeshadow I'm gonna use. Do I ever? Not really. Should I prepare better? Probably. So I apologize, but we're going to wing it like we always do. Okay. And we're going to wing it using my Morphe palette. Uh, no, we're not. Eh, we might use some colors out of it. We're going to wing it using this Tarte palette. Well, I don't know why I showed you the case because that doesn't really matter. Okay. So as long as I don't drop it and break it, we're going to go in with this. Was it latte? Latte transition shade. Okay, this palette's really pretty. I've used it a lot before. I haven't shown it much on here, so I'll just use it for you guys because you might be getting sick of seeing my Morphe palette that I brag about all the time. Hi, Trevor. Happy Friday. Thanks for watching. Even though I'm sure you probably don't wear makeup. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> um, using this my transition shade. I'm going to try to do a more... Um, like burnt orange, burgundy, I don't know. Definitely warm toned because this beautiful color is the matte liquid lip we're gonna be using today. So I want something that's gonna kinda go with that. And I love this, this is a really good palette. 
I don't even know what is it. What's it called? Tartlet toasted. Okay. I don't know where I got it. I'm sure I got it from like Ulta or something. So let's put that brush down and try. I need to try out these new brushes for you guys because I haven't even really used them. Um, this is the JH Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush JH31. I'm going to go in with warmth here. It's like a burnt orange color. Hi, Carly. Thank you for watching. Happy Friday. Um, just get a little bit and tap off the extra. Always tap off the extra and just do a little bit at a time. And blend, blend, blend. Light, light hand. Okay, don't go in with a heavy hand. Um, just do really light, soft. Um, that way it blends easier and you don't get as harsh of lines. Um, and it's less patchy. So, and I always hold at the end of my brush. I always tell you guys that. But for people that haven't already watched me, I always hold at the end of the brush. Don't hold up here. Don't hold right here. Hold down here. Okay, that's going to give you a looser, lighter grip on the brush. Um, it's going to feel like you have less control, but that's a good thing. Okay, it's going to feel like, I don't know, it's going to feel odd probably. Because you wouldn't normally hold things. Like if you're holding a pencil or something, you wouldn't normally hold things up here. But it's going to give you a looser grip on it, which is going to be good. Because you're going to go in with a lighter hand. And you're not going to go as harsh. And it's not going to be as patchy. And you have to have the right brushes though. Okay, so that's why I recommend Morphe to everybody. Because I know... Um, that's another reason I love pharmacy so much and I'm so excited about it is because it's so affordable for everybody just like Morphe is and I think Morphe brushes are so awesome. Um, they're really good quality in my personal opinion. They're really good quality and I just, I just love them. They're affordable. So if you need, if you need good brushes, um, for an affordable price, sorry, I heard a noise. It's so nice outside that like all my neighbors are out. So I'm like hearing, this sounds weird, but I'm like hearing sounds I don't usually hear outside. And that was loud. Okay. And I'm just doing like windshield wiper motions basically in my crease. Um, just trying to give some definition to my eyelids with these colors, okay? Let's take a little bit more of that on each lid and I'm gonna try to just come down a little bit farther. Oh, Y'all, you know why I'm having such a hard time blending this out? I was wondering why it looked a little bit more, like, like it wasn't blending as easy. That's because I didn't put powder on my lids. I got distracted talking to you guys and I didn't, <laughs> I didn't set my eyelids. Ugh. I always put foundation on my eyelids because um, I don't have eye primer. <laughs> I'm slacking. And I always set because it's easier to blend and looks more flawless and less patchy when you set with powder. Like powder on powder is better than like powder on liquid. Does that make sense? And so, yeah. And now I'm on the struggle bus because I'm like, why is this having such a hard time blending? That is why, but we're too late now. So you do what you gotta do at this point. Do what you gotta do. If you guys are hopping on, say hey. Thank you guys for watching me. Stick around to the end to see this matte liquid lip. I should have looked to make sure my hand was in the in the camera. <laughs> but that is what I will be using on my lips today. And hopefully we love it. Because Tor Hayton on my red lip, I was shocked. You guys liked the nude. So this one is like obviously hints of like purpley berry color red. Um, but it's more natural looking, I think, than obviously that bright red that I had in my story today. So let's put a color on my lid. Which one shall we use? Um, okay, let's first, first, 
first and foremost, get your tiny little brush like this. Get your setting spray. Very important. This is very important. Okay. Not necessarily just for this, <laughs> but I'm talking like setting your face. This is the time locker setting spray I always talk about. This will help your foundation not budge a single inch, okay? This stuff is really awesome. I have never tried a setting, got it all the way down here, what am I doing? I've never tried a setting spray that worked as well as this one, seriously. So I like swear by it. I used to be like all into setting powder and like setting sprays, like eh, not as important. This stuff, like I can't live without it. Anyway, before this dries, I sprayed my brush with that um, to pick up this shimmery candle shade um, in the palette. It helps pack on shimmers better when your brush is wet. So I recommend using like a setting spray to wet your brush, but you could really use anything, honestly. I've used rose water before to wet my brush, so it really doesn't matter. But do you see how like bright and shimmery that is? I just use it to pack it on my lid here. And then we're about to blend some darker shades around it in the crease. I'm not wetting my brush again because as I'm getting more towards the outside of my eye, I don't necessarily need as much shimmery pigment because we're about to blend over that anyway, so it's okay. But I'm just packing some extra on here. Make sure we don't lose too much. We can always go back and add a little bit more if we need to, but spray my brush again. We're gonna do the other eye. Like I said, it just helps pack on especially like shimmery pigment a lot better when your brush is wet and it'll help it stay and if you have a, like a favorite eyeshadow that has really bad fallout because like a lot of the shimmery ones can um, especially the shimmery ones I would definitely wet your brush if you've not already tried that because that can really help I think Do you see how pretty that color is? I'm obsessed with anything that's warm toned. You guys have heard me say that a gazillion times, but it's so true. I am not and probably will never be a cool tone shade loving person. Okay, so we'll start with that and we will add some darker colors on top. If we need to put more shimmer, we'll put more shimmer. Okay, but isn't that so pretty? I love that shimmery color. Okay, let's go in with the same brush. We're just going to use the same brush because why not? It's kind of like tapered, which I like. Can you tell like it's bigger and it gets smaller at the end? I like that. So let's go to this cozy dark shade, okay? I have used this shade before and it is beautiful. And I'm trying just to get it on the very tip of the brush because I don't want it like on the outer like fatter part because it's gonna get crazy and it's gonna go away from the area I want it to. Does that make sense? Like when I go in my crease, it's gonna get it like up too high or down too low if it's not like right there on the skinny end. So you can like, if you wanted to pack it in your crease with like a little, where's my little brush? With like this little brush, you could. But this one's fluffier and I like it because I'm really wanting to like blend it more instead of packing it in. There's just so, there's just so many ways you can do eyeshadow guys. Seriously, there's really not like a wrong way. I mean, you can like go on YouTube and just look up like how to do a smoky eye or something um, or how to do a halo eye and you'll see like five or six, 700 different ways to do it, no. Um, but seriously, there's several ways to do different looks that people do. Um, no way is like really wrong. It's just the way that you're comfortable with um, or is easiest for you or the way you're used to. Like if you do something a certain way and then you get on YouTube or wherever and you see something, somebody doing it different, um, it's not necessarily wrong. It's just maybe you're not used to it. So I'm kind of packing it a little bit and then I'm like blending. Small, light, um, 
not really strokes, but I'm going in circular motions to blend it. And I'm trying to blend it into my crease over this shimmer because we want it to be like almost seamless, if that makes sense. I'm gonna try to pack it in this corner more. I do not have like the most lid space. Um, my sister is a perfect example. I would have to share pictures of her to show you guys unless you've already seen her or know her. Um, she has a lot more lid space than me. She has bigger eyelids than me. So when she does her, well, number one, she just does her makeup so beautifully. <laughs> but number two, when she does her makeup, she has much more room for eyeshadow and so it just looks amazing. Um, mostly because she's just so awesome at it, but also because <laughs> she has more lid space. So when you have hooded eyes, it's harder. Okay. So if you don't know what hooded eyes are, it's like when your eyes are open and this part, like where your brow bone is, is like lower, like, um, covering your eyelids. Mostly when you open your eyes and you can't hardly see your eyeshadow, that's a hooded eye. So mine, um, do you see how like you can still kind of see the shadow, but they are a little like slightly on the hooded side. Um, so you just gotta know your eyelid shape too. That's important because if you have put it eyes, you're gonna put eyeshadow on a lot different than me or somebody like my sister who has a bigger lid space to work with. Honestly, just watching people do their makeup is the greatest way to learn. Like you have no idea how many hours I've spent on YouTube watching people do their makeup. You gotta go watch people like um, Jaclyn Hill or even if they're people that like you don't like to watch, you think they're, an, I don't know, if you just think they're annoying or something, if they do beautiful makeup, it, just go watch their videos regardless because that is the only way you will learn. A lot of people hate on Jaclyn Hill and I don't know her personally, obviously she's really popular. Um, but regardless, if I agree with what she says, or doesn't say or does or doesn't do or whatever doesn't matter because <laughs> her makeup is flawless and that is how I learn if I watch her then that is how I learn to do makeup because she knows how to do makeup so you got to watch and you got to do it yourself but it is so fun to do that's why I love getting on here this is seriously like my favorite part of my days is getting to come on here and do my makeup and talk to you guys about makeup. Especially affordable, good quality makeup like this because pharmacy is like high-end level makeup with drugstore prices, which you will like never find. I haven't found yet, okay? So, I mean, I've tried some different direct sales companies makeup and I have yet to find something like this. I love these products and I love the price like I have a hard time talking myself out of buying things because they're so affordable I'm like but it's not that expensive <laughs> at the end of the day though I buy so much stuff my husband probably wants to kill me a little bit but it's okay I am taking this really small brush now because I'm I didn't even tell you what guys what I'm doing hi Jayla um I'm going with the darkest shade in this palette so I'm just getting a little bit on, tapping it off so I don't have too much. And I'm going to pack it in um, to get that darker look on the corners. And then I will blend it out with a different color in just a second. Okay, so I tried the setting powder before the shadow. Doesn't look like maybe it's going to work that well because I think I've blended a lot of it away. <laughs> So, we may just have to stick with doing the shadow before the foundation. I don't know. I'll keep you guys posted on that, on what works best. I am learning every day, slowly trying to learn what, what ways to do my makeup that works best for me and that I like. That's what it's all about. And it is so freaking fun to do it too. So I am like making like almost like trying to make a little, t can you guys even see that? I'm like looking at my mirror. You probably can't even see me. Hold on. I apologize. If you guys can't tell what the heck I'm doing, 
tell me. <laughs> tell me, tell me. But I'm trying to make like almost a little V here and then go up into my crease, if that makes sense. This seriously is not hard when you guys practice it. So it may seem hard at first and honestly, I still feel like eyeshadow is pretty it can be really challenging especially depending on what colors you want to use or what type of eye look you want to do but the more you practice it the easier it'll get and I have full faith that this will get easier for me and I will learn how to do more different looks and I'll be so happy with myself because I've seen other makeup girls and they've done like before and afters of like them like a few years ago when they first started out and them now and their makeup skills like have evolved so much. So I have confidence in myself that this will get better. <laughs> I will get better at this eyeshadow thing. Still just packing it in to my outer lid just a little tiny bit at a time. We don't want to do too much color all at once. Remember that. Hi, Bailey. Happy Friday. Thank you for watching. We are going to get to this matte liquid lip in just a minute, I promise. So excited to show you guys. I have not put it on yet, so we shall see if I like it or not. That red lipstick I put on, I think that was on Monday, wasn't it? I had to try like without you guys seeing it at first because I was so worried. I was like, this isn't going to look good on me and I don't want to look like a clown in front of you guys. So you couldn't see my initial reaction to that one. So I don't think I'm ever going to do that again. I'm just going to try everything on for the first time in front of you guys as much as I can and... That way you can see, because I was so, so shocked that I loved that red lip so much, but you guys really didn't. I was surprised. If you guys haven't voted like on my story, I asked you guys, I compared the nude lip color to the red and asked you guys which one you like better. And like everybody's, everybody's saying the nude, which I love too. And probably it might still be my favorite, but I'm like, dang, I love that red lip. Okay, we are gonna take um, we're going to go back in with, I make this up as I go. So I'm so sorry that I'm slow because I don't think it out. I don't think it through before I start and I need to, this whole eyeshadow thing. So we're going to go back in with this warmth color, um, just to blend here between the darker shades and the shimmer. Um, and then just a little bit and then outer corner of the dark shade and above my crease. I just don't want any harsh lines. Um, so I'm just, this is like my fluffiest brush. So I take it and gently and just blending it out and like up towards my brow. Okay, and then we will try to brush some of this away and see if that helped me at all. But I'm thinking that it probably really did. I don't know. But you want to kind of blend the dark with the shimmer right here so it doesn't look patchy or um, it's got to look like it flows together. You know what I mean? <laughs> I wish I knew. I keep staring at my... I keep staring at my sad nails. I wish I knew how to do nails because I would just do them myself. And I know you can buy those kits online, but I don't trust myself. I'm going to make my nails look like a hot mess. They're probably going to pop right off in like two hours after putting them on. It's just not worth it. But I guarantee my nails are so fragile and brittle underneath these that I'm afraid I'm afraid to take these off because when I go to work and I'm like lifting on people and like, yeah, it's just, it's not going to be a good situation. I have a bad feeling. <sighs> the struggle. I know this is a big deal, right? Not really. In the grand scheme of things, my nails don't matter, but it is sad to me. It is sad. What did I do with my powder brush, you guys? Oh, there it is. Okay. 
we're gonna brush this away and I feel like it didn't really help me that much <laughs> I saw somebody else do this the other day and I was like oh that might work I, eh, it kind of did this eye I think worked better this eye might have worked better that's not bad actually this one I don't think I got enough right here in the corner but up here it did a good job I don't know if you guys can really tell it kind of it kind of blocked the blending mess that I usually have a little bit. Okay, so you can try it, see if it works for you. Depends on how crazy you <laughs> you blend, because I'm like a crazy blending mess here. Okay, with my eyeshadow, I just don't want any harsh lines. I just see, and I know you can't believe everything you see on Instagram and Facebook, but I see all these beautiful makeup artists in their eyeshadow looks like a seamless it looks so seamless and I'm like oh, I want my eyeshadow to look like that so bad okay anyway anyway I know you guys don't care about that um I'm gonna go in with this shade on the on the bottom of my lid my bottom lid not on the bottom of my lid with this tiny little brush okay we're gonna pack some color down here so it blends with the colors on my top eyelid. This is a really good palette if you're starting out and don't know how to do eyeshadows either because they're warm toned. They blend pretty well. They just look really nice. And they'll look really good on like basically everybody and definitely every eye color I think. So. Most colors look pretty good with my brown eyes, um, except for cool tones. I feel like cool tone eyeshadows do not look good with my hair. I should have put it back, or I should have put it up. It always gets in the way. Okay, so I think that is it for eyeshadow. We'll just leave it at that because I want to get to this that liquid lip so bad. So we're going to put the bronzer on. Um, it's our sun Kissed bronzer. The only thing I will say that I don't like about it is that it doesn't come in a darker shade than this. So I apologize for that. Hopefully they'll start, like I know they're trying to come out with some newer products. So hopefully they'll start coming out with like some darker bronzers because this does a really good job um, on my skin tone. I And most girls I've seen use it. It looks really good. It's like the perfect shade, but... Um, if you have a lot darker skin than me, it's probably not going to work as well, unfortunately. So, I don't know. Try it out if you want and see. But that's the only thing I will say about it is that it could be darker. So, maybe they're going to give us a dark, darker bronze. Because if you want that like really super tan glowy look and you're already like naturally tan it, see how it just gives me just the right amount of color and contour on my cheeks and it does look beautiful and bronzy but like I said darker skin colors than me won't work out as well so that I don't like that but what can I do other than just make suggestions and pray that it happens where's my little fluffy brush where is it at I don't know. We're going to use this one to basically contour my nose. I always try to put it right up here. Okay. Cause it's going to pinch here and make my nose look skinnier. <laughs> Contouring is amazing. And I need to order the contour. We have a contour stick and a contour palette um, with three shades in it. And I need to order them. So you guys can see how to use them. The contour palette, I believe. Or no, I know. I don't know why I say believe. It is powder. So it's not a cream contour. Obviously, the stick is a cream contour. So it just depends on what you guys like to use. If you don't know how to contour, if you don't know whether you should use powder or cream contour, let me know because I can answer those questions for you guys. Okay, so I use that to make my nose up here smaller so if you have a wider nose it's a good trick to either contour or put some bronzer just like I did um and it'll help with that okay so oh and I need to set the rest of my face what am I doing I need to set with my makeshift 
translucent loose powder. Um, I always set, try to set around my mouth. Kind of where I get those fine lines. And my forehead because I get a little oily. Like I get super oily right here and then obviously here because, you know, you guys see my blemishes on my cheeks. That's why I struggle. My forehead, no, knock on wood. People, everybody knock on some wood for me before I jinx myself. But my forehead does really good. Doesn't usually really break out. It just gets a little oily. But right here, and a lot of it's probably diet too. So stress, I wear a mask for like 13 hours, three or four days a week. And I eat like crap. So I'm just like really not helping myself any way you look at it. Um, okay, let's go ahead and use the Extreme Curl Mascara. I really like this one. I think the Zen is my favorite. I honestly can't pick one yet, but the Zen is the most affordable. So if you're looking for a good mascara that is the most affordable that we have, that is it. And it is so good. Um, these are the only two I have. I need to order more mascaras too. because I need to try them all out for you guys. <laughs> look at how beautiful my lashes look. Just to clarify, I was thinking about this the other day after I got off my live video. When I talk about like, I don't recommend putting on like layers and layers of mascara. I don't mean like what I just did. Like, see how I keep going up and, like, brushing it through my lashes? That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about um, when you are putting on mascara and you put some on like I just did, you let it dry, and then you go back and do it again and again and again. Because then it, I feel like, cakes up on your lashes and will definitely make your lashes um, clumpy no matter what mascara you're using. Cause I've had a lot of people say that about a lot of different mascaras. And I'm like, are you layering it super thick? Cause you really only need one layer. I go back and like keep brushing it through and keep brushing it through because I'm trying to like, number one, curl and like brush my lashes up. And number two, make sure that they're as like separate and spread out as I can. It's gonna make them look like more flawless that way, I think. Okay, so this is the extreme, extreme curl. And I honestly can't remember the price on this one, but I'm telling you guys it's super affordable. The Zen mascara is $8.90. So I think that speaks for itself. And I've done videos with it. So I'll just go back and watch some of my videos because um, I always list the products in the description and just click on one that says Zen Mascara and you can see me put it on because it is thebomb.com and it is so affordable. Everything we have is affordable. <laughs> and that's why I'm so excited about all of it. I keep telling John all the time. I'm like, I don't know how to come across to you guys how fantastic these products are. Like, they're so amazing and everybody can afford them. I just want you guys to like take a second and realize that. Go to the website, look at the prices and just be blown away, okay? Because it's seriously such an amazing company. It really is. Um, that's why I had to switch. Like instantly, as soon as I tried the makeup and I heard all about it, I was, I was sold. There was like no question in my mind whatsoever what I was gonna do. Like even before I tried the products, I was already like, almost sold on it, like just hearing about it. Anyway, anyway, let's try this lip liner 204 to go with this. Let's just compare them side by side, shall we? Okay, super close. Those match, I hope, I think. They look like they do. <laughs> okay, you guys know I love their lip liners. Number one, the pencils are so thin when you sharpen them. It helps. It really helps give you like a more accurate 
line. Um, you gotta have try to have a steady hand too. I get a little carried away sometimes, and I have to go back with a little concealer because I like my hand will slip or something. But okay, so let me know if I ever say anything that you guys don't understand. Like, if I use a word that you don't know what I'm talking about or whatever, just always let me know because I always try to talk and, like, teach you guys how I do things. And I might not realize if you know what I'm talking about. Because sometimes people message me and they're like, what did you mean when you said this? And I'm like, oh, I should explain things better. I'm not the greatest teacher ever, okay? But I like to overline my lips. Which you don't have to do. I don't overline my bottom lip, but I do my top one a little bit because it is thinner. And I'm just going to fill in with this pencil a little bit. I also put the lip conditioner on before we started, and I think that really helps. It really... Um, helps when I put my lip liner on I feel like it makes it look smoother because sometimes I don't do the best job <laughs> um okay so I'm really excited because I think this is gonna be so pretty <laughs> and it is matte and you guys know that these are my favorite lip products in the entire world ever in existence because you can kiss your baby your husband your boyfriend your whoever your grandma <laughs> And it won't transfer, okay? It's incredible. So let's see how it looks. Oh, yeah. I am digging this color. It is darker than what I pictured when I ordered it, but it is like the perfect berry shade. And it's like, if you want a red, but you don't want like a bright red like I had the other day, this is for you. Anything from our matte liquid lip collection is you're going to be impressed with. Whether you like the color or not, because I wore that confident shade and it was like a cool tone, if you guys remember. And I was not a fan of the shade, but it doesn't transfer, so you're winning either way. <laughs> but this is like the perfect, it looks more red in the camera. It looks more um, burgundy, berry colored um, in person, I feel like. Um, sometimes when I look in the camera, I feel like you can't tell lip shades or eyeshadow shades as well. But this is more of like a berry burgundy. I'll, I'll take some photos when I get off and we'll see if it captures, if a photo captures the color better than the quality of this live video. But I am digging this color. It gives you the perfect like dark reddish um, berry color lip. So... Tell me what you guys think. Give me a heart if you like this shade, if you don't like this shade. Um, is it too dark for you? I don't know if anything will compare. I don't know if anything will compare to Brave. Okay, I've got it just chilling out here because it's my favorite. If you guys want information about my nude lip box that the pharmacy has that has this in it and it has the lip liner I always use with it, 203, right? Am I saying that one right? is 203 um, lip liner 203 and it has brave liquid lip which is so stunning I posted it is that nude lip I used in my story thank you Cheyenne I like it it looks right more red in here but um, if you guys want more info on that nude lip box it is it does come with a gloss too which I haven't tried any of the glosses I'm not really a gloss lip kind of person but I need to figure out which color that is and try it out for you guys so you can see so you know what comes in the box exactly and we'll try it on anyway 
last but absolutely not least look I just wiped my finger across my face and it foundation didn't even come off can you tell I just caught myself right here anyway I just want to show you guys that anyway so this time locker setting spray is the bomb freaking.com you have to have it spray it on your face and your foundation is going to move you can touch your face and it won't even matter and that is why I'm so obsessed with this makeup this is what like instantly drew me into this company I didn't even put blush on y'all I just remembered that see how I was talking about how blush isn't like my favorite thing or the first thing that I would think of as long as I have my bronzer I'm good with that okay you really don't need that much amount but it's it's fine the more the merrier right um I don't highlight my face I need to talk to you guys about that too I don't highlight my face very often um just because I usually try to do like more of a natural and honestly, when you have blemishes like I do, which I don't really have any up here where I would put highlight, but sometimes I've had blemishes up here. And when you have blemishes like that, you want to go with like less um, shimmery type of colors, like where those are at. That's why like the last bronzer I used did a really good job. But like a few people pointed out to me like, hey, it accentuates my blemishes because it's shimmery. And they can do that. So that is another thing that I love about this Sunkissed Bronzer is that it's matte. Um, I feel like it does not make my blemishes stand out. It covers them better and it sets my face like I want it to. It does a great job. So I will stop wasting your guys' time today, taking your time up um, and get off here. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a really good Friday. I will, should be, unless something happens something strange happens tomorrow. I'll be back on tomorrow and we can talk more. I think I have more products coming tomorrow in the mail. Maybe we'll keep our fingers crossed. I'll wait and see if I get them before I get on live just in case they come. Um, and I can't even remember what I ordered. I just know that I ordered something and it was supposed to hopefully arrive tomorrow. So hopefully I'll have that for you guys and we can talk about more products. Um, I will do that live about cleaning brushes, hopefully on Sunday night. Um, cause they work Monday. So that'll give my brushes time to dry. I don't like to clean them the day before I know I'm about to use them because like I said, big brushes, especially like this take like closer to two days just to air dry. Like I just set them on the countertop and let them air dry. Okay. So it takes them quite a bit of time when they're big like that. Anyway, I'll get off here, but thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, give me some hearts if you love this liquid lip. You're going to love it regardless because it's not even going to come off your mouth. So <laughs> um, have a good Friday, you guys, and I will talk to you tomorrow.